18 turnovers for 30 points. I feel like we're asking the same questions all the time. You know, I'm sure you guys are asking the same thing for yourselves. What do you think it is? Um, she's just being lackadaisical out there. I mean, we we know the MO. We done played them four times. Um, we know they got a real, real feisty team. And, I mean, to come out and have turnovers like that against them, they get out in transition. So uh, we knew it was going to be tough, but they still made it tough on us the whole night. And, you know, that's how we really lost the game uh, to me. Those of you saw this, you guys sort of closed the gap a little bit at the end. I mean, we fought. We got a uh, a team that don't have quit in us. Um, that was the goal. I was trying to tell the guys. It was only it was 120, I think, the uh, 129. I'm like, yo, it's only three threes. We can hit two. And then, you know, it's a ball game. I think it was like 228 left. You know, everybody was like, yeah. Then we believed. And we made a couple stops. Uh, we had a couple threes, but it wasn't enough. You know, we needed a miracle. Um, down the stretch, they ISO. We ain't really load up. I guess we didn't want to be that guy that the man score on, but late like that, we got to just buy in. And if they make a tough shot, we got to trust our defense. And I feel like we didn't do that late. We left guys on islands. And um, it's tough in this league not trying to foul when you're in a penalty also and play good defense. So um, I think going forward and learning from it, I think we needed a game like this, um, especially where we're trying to go and our expectations in the playoffs. I know that you and Kevin Beverly talked a little bit about Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do. I mean, honestly, I don't. Me and Pat been talking back and forth since my first year. I actually was playing, you know, and he brought it to me. So, I mean, where I'm from, I don't, I don't back down. I don't know what he got against me, but if it's that, then I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just go out there and compete, but I'm not going back down. Um, that's just how I was raised, and that's just where I'm from. So, um, it's good going up against a guy like that. Um, he gets you going, and I'm sure I get him going. Um, you know, just interacting, but it's it's fun. I mean, I grew up playing that style of basketball, talking back and forth, so it's definitely fun. Break down the, the past to AG. Um, you wanted it to go? Was that the plan? Yeah, I wanted it to go there, but when he caught it and went backwards, it kind of messed me up. I'm like, there's no way he's making this. It, he just kept uh, soaring in the air. It was crazy. I thought he was just going to catch it and dunk it with two, but – you know, AG, I keep forgetting he was in the duck contest, probably one of the best ever. So, um, you know, I love to see him play with that aggression and uh, dunking like that. That's what we always ask for him, just playing downhill. So you, you think he went backwards on purpose? Yeah, he did that for sure on purpose. He, for sure. I mean, he always catch it. And we be like, AG, why you don't go up? He's like, I'm more comfortable going backwards. So, I mean, I guess that's his forte. There were a lot of drives tonight, and it feels like over the last – Couple of weeks stuff, the defense has been getting a lot of drives. Yeah. Especially over the early days. Is that by design, just, just being in like pack and trail and things like that, or, or is it just um, giving up more lives? Um, I mean, like our defense is certain guys are runoffs and chases. So um, if we in rotation and the guy at the break or in the slot, Say, for instance, Malik Beasley, he get the one more swing. It may look like a blow by, but we just not trying to let him shoot a three. So we just run him off the line. So we want them to play the in-between game and make him finish a tough two. So sometimes y'all might think, you know, it's a blow by, but that's what we want to do. So um, some instances, it could be a blow by, and that's when we got to load and show a wall. Coach Malone always say that. But some instances, I mean, it's most runoffs. We don't want them to get going from three, so we kind of just try to – Run past them. I know it looked kind of crazy at times, but that's our defense. You know, we want them to play and make tough twos. Uh, Malone just said Jamal is making progress every single day. Yeah. He said, keep hope alive. Yeah. What is the sense that you have uh, where Jamal's at? Uh, maybe just talking to him or maybe the, the, the sense in the locker room? I mean, you know, Jamal, he he's really, really tough. Um, you know, I didn't see him come back in games, be hurt. Um, and then turn up like 20 straight, you know. So uh, his mental is there. Um, he's ready to get back out there. Um, he's look good. You know, he's dunking and everything, both legs. So um, just a matter of time, I guess. But hopefully we can get him back and uh, make that push. Obviously you don't want to put Jokic in a situation where he has to play 43 minutes. Yeah. The fact that you have a big that can put up numbers like he does and play that many minutes for you guys, is that impressive? What do you think about the fact that he's yeah, I mean, conditioning, I guess? I mean, he he worked his ass off all summer. Um, 
lifts after the games, um, lifts on off days, and he's in shape. You know, I try to tell guys, he may not look the fastest, but he always seemed to be guys down the court who you may think faster than him. But, you know, he's just no angles. You know, he's figured this game out, and, uh, you know, it's a beauty to see. Love playing with him. Um, and like I said, he's for sure um, back-to-back MVP for, in my, my eyes. Appreciate it.